Hello and welcome to another Teacher's Corner. This is Teacher Kirby and today we're going to be discussing Feedback Pulse. So, Feedback Pulse has gotten kind of a bad rap. It's considered to be uh, not worth it by some people because simply because PVE NPCs do not fire hard enough to make it or to make a uh, a reflection worth the uh, damage that you would want to get out of it versus something else. Now, you'll notice here on my ship I've taken off quite a few items because I've taken off everything that boosts particle gens on my ship. Part gens scale feedback pulse. They increase the amount of reflection. So you'll notice I have feedback pulse 2 which is a lieutenant commander skill it is a science skill and you'll notice that it says when I'm at uh, 99 points in part gens it says it reflects up to 1.2 incoming energy damage back to the target for 15 seconds okay and you will see yes I am at 99 part gens right now. There they are. Okay. Now, if I go and put back, you'll notice my deflector gives me plus 50 part gens. And you'll notice now that it says 1.3 incoming energy damage. If I keep adding my things back, now it's 1.4 and I start adding back my consoles then increase my grab gens and part gens. I had two, I'm already up to 1.5 and if I finish these there we go and that puts me at 1.6 with all my things on there and I'm at 295 particle gens. So you can see this scales pretty nicely. You're pretty close at 295 to doubling the energy or the attack that you're getting from the NPCs. Now, the other thing that affects feedback pulse greatly, feedback pulse does crit. So it is affected by particle manipulator. In fact, it's one of those things that is highly affected by it, and it's possible to get it close to a hundred percent crit chance to where just about every hit that it sends out is going to crit. That's where your real damage is going to come from with the feedback pulse. So how do you know a feedback pulse is good for you? Well, because you want to pair it with particle manipulator and get your part gens up to 250 so you get the maximum benefit from that, you want a high particle gen build. Furthermore, you want particle manipulator. Also, because feedback pulse is when enemies fire at you, the, end, the damage you take gets reflected back to them. You have to have things shoot at you. So if you don't have a lot of threat, if you don't have things shooting at you all the time, this would not be a good skill for you. If you're pulling about 0.75 attacks per second, which is, I'm told, about 75, 60, 75% of the threat in a match, then this would probably be a good addition to your build if you generate a lot of threat. Also remember timing is critical. The more enemies that are firing at you, the more you're going to be shooting, pulsing things back at them for that 15 seconds. So you want to shoot this off in an area of a lot of targets and where everything's firing at you. Everything's pissed off at you and, and shooting at you. Um, 
Another alternative is something like in, and we've seen some of the largest one hits in this game from this technique is in Hive Space Elite, taunting the pickle ships at the end, those scar shaped Borg ships at the end, taunting them and getting them to fire at you while you, to fire their lance at you while you are on, while you have feedback pulse up. That lance will reflect back. And we've actually seen there was one friend of ours hit for 14 million damage using that technique. That is the highest one hit in the game at this point. So, point of that, under the right circumstances, feedback pulses amaze balls. Okay, under normal ISA circumstances, feedback pulse is pretty good and can get you a few K DPS. Things to remember, high part gens, use particle manipulator, must be getting threat. Okay, if you can remember those three things, then feed and those fit you, then feedback pulse might be a good thing to consider adding to your build. Have fun with it. And if you want to see the discussion of Teacher's Corner live on the show, Tune in on Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. And I will see you there.